What's good, YouTube? Now what I you're back again once again, and today, people, today we're back for another Pokemon Live Wi-Fi battle for you guys. Today we're battling against a Twitter blah, 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 Twitter follower by the name of HGSS1994, and game name is Blake, um, and we're doing another UU Wi-Fi battle for you guys. I think I'm going to do this by weeks, like this week we'll do UU, next week we'll do a different tier, the week after that we'll do a different tier, just so we get a nice, uh, nice experience across the board with all the different tiers and whatnot. We're not just focused on one forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, and they won't just switch it up the very next day. You know, we're just going to explore each one thoroughly and do what we can with it. Um, but either way, um, the team that I'm using today is Jirachi, Galvantula, Quagsire, Victini, Togekiss, and Needle King. This is the same Victini that we used in yesterday's video. Uh, the Choice Banded, uh, the V-Create, Bolt Strike, U-Turn, Trick One. Um, and the reason I'm doing that, because this team, actually, I actually built this team with Num Nexus. Like, I had a team that I went to and was like, hey, Nexus, what do you think of this? And he just recreated it for me whatnot. And he put a Kingdra on it. And Kingdra, for whatever reason, like, I was trying it on Showdown and it just really didn't do much for me. So I decided to go ahead and take Kingdra out and put Victini on. It was just one of those things where it's like every single chance that I got, Kingdra just never really pulled through. I don't know, it just didn't, I don't know, it just didn't really fit on the team for me. So hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, Victini will pull through. If anything, Victini gives us a little bit more type coverage because we put the Kingdra on the team originally, paired up with the Quagsire so that we could take a fire hit because we had a huge fire weakness between Jirachi, Galvantula, and Togekiss. So hopefully Victini can uh, take a fire hit for us. Uh, I mean, unless it's like a choice man and Flare Blitz Darmanitan, but even then, Kingdra's not going to take that either. But So let's go ahead and get into it, and hopefully, hopefully, we don't get uh, destroyed, utterly embarrassed here. Uh, but let's see what we can do. Either way, if you guys are hyped and excited for today's uh, Wi-Fi battle, make sure you smash the yell out that like button down below for us. This team is so scary. Why? Why? And of course, let us know what your favorite UU tier Pokemon is in the comment section below as well. I'm going to go ahead and write down his team right now. Infernape, Galvantula, <sighs> Snorlax, Gudra. I do not like that Snorlax at all. Slowbro, and Ampharos, most likely a Mega. Ugh, I don't like his team because he has decent bulk on his team. He's got Regenerator, Slowbro. He's got the specially defensive Gudra. He's got the defensive, just period, Snorlax. The Galvantula and Infernape are fast attackers, and then Mega Ampharos can be mixed, but he's bulky at the same time. So really, um, looking at our team, we need the Snorlax to leave, preferably. The Victini can handle pretty much everything except for the Slowbro and the Snorlax. Victini can pretty much handle that. Really, honestly, I might have to end up hacking the Snorlax to death if we can, because everything else... He's just going to resist unless we could just bop it real hard, real quick with Victini twice. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what ends up happening. Who I'm going to leave with, though, this team is really, really good when it comes to Sticky Webs. That's why Galvantula's on it. But at the same time, that might be obvious. He has a Galvantula on his team as well. And he might be going for Sticky Web team. He's definitely got a Sticky Web team between Gudra, Snorlax, and Ampharos. So I think what I may do... Is I may just oh I gotta hurry up 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 I'm just gonna go with the standard lead ah oh, I wish I kind of wish that I went with Needle King as a lead right now I hate that I was kind of rushed I wish I went with Needle King I really really do I really really do I really, really wish I had Needle King leading instead of Galvantula but we'll see what ends up happening we'll see who he ends up leading with as well hopefully it's the Galvantula we have Galvantula versus Galvantula we'll see what happens but. Out comes the Galvantula. I love shiny Galvantula. Look at it. It's just the blue and the gold. Zappy gun. Galvantula. <laughs> Galvantula versus Galvantula on the field. Uh, my thing is, the, the sticky web is a given. That's obvious. We're both most likely... Uh, I just bit my tongue. We're both most likely sashed. So what I think I'm going to do... I mean, if we're both going to go for sticky waves, he doesn't have a spinner and neither do I. So, I mean, if we both go for Sticky Web, it's just going to negate everything out. And it doesn't really matter at this point, because if we're both Sash, nothing's going to happen. So, <laughs> oh well. So, we're just going to swap Sticky Webs here. Go ahead. Go for your Sticky Webs. He went for Thunder right off the bat. I see you, big dog. <laughs> I see you, big dog. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, at least I know how much that does now. Um, honestly, what I kind of sort of want to do, I want to swap out to uh, Needle King. Because I don't think that he'll be able to touch my Needle King. Even if he has like HP Fire, HP Ground, uh, Needle King should be able to take those hits well. Thunder gets completely negated. Strongest stat move gets completely negated. Bug Blast isn't going to do much to us. And Energy Ball shouldn't do too much to us either. So I'm going to go out to Needle King now. And either he goes for another Thunder hoping to kill me. 
or a bug buzz, or he goes for his sticky webs, which honestly doesn't matter because we're Scarf Needle King as it is, so hopefully it's a good thing. If he swaps out, really, anybody on his team, well, he doesn't have his sticky webs up yet, so that's all right. So he's going to withdraw. So no matter who he goes out to, we're going to outspeed right now. And he didn't go for sticky webs, Flubber. Oh, I don't like you. I don't like Gudra. I like Gudra when it's on my team, don't get me wrong. But I don't like Gudra when it's on the opponent's team by any means. Of course, Gudra is going to be specially defensive. We do carry Ice Beam. But I feel like Ice Beam at most might do like 30-40% to the Gudra. And then it's just hoping... Well, it's not going to get a freeze because it's sheer force. So we're just hoping for a freeze from there on out. Um... And he could hit us hard right back with the Surf or something. If you want to be that guy to run Surf Gudra. Does Gudra get Surf? I feel like it does. Um, but I think what I'm going to do, to be honest, to be honest, he doesn't have a spinner. And outside of Slowbro, I don't really need our Galvantula for anything. I kind of want to save Slow. I kind of want to save that, though. My thing is, what is he going to go for? That's the biggest issue. I don't want to sack my Needle King just yet because he's scarfed and he could outspeed. Well, I don't have to worry about outspeeding because we have sticky webs up, but it's still he could outspeed a lot and hit hard on the other team with the sheer force boost. So I think what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to go out to Togekiss because Togekiss is our quote unquote special wall of this team. And that'll negate his dragon type attacks. And we're going to eat up a flamethrower. We can eat up, well, an ice beam and a thunderbolt would hurt, but he might go for an ice beam because we're a ground type. I think I'm just going to go out to Bill, our Quagsire, because anything he could do outside of maybe like a Dragon Pulse, Ice Beam might do about half, but a Dragon Pulse would do about half as well. Flamethrower and Thunderbolt aren't going to do anything, so I feel like that's our safest switch. And if anything, does he have a Steel type? Infinite Galvantula, he doesn't have a Steel type, so we can get a safe Toxic off as well. Let's see what he goes for. He went for Earth. It's a physical Grudra! Excuse you! Excuse you! Oh my lord! Well, if it's a physical Gudra, that means that he's gonna have Power Whip. Which scares me a little bit. It scares me a little bit. At least he's running Mixed Gudra. Is Mixed Gudra even a thing? I don't think I've ever heard of that. So, I mean, we could go for the Toxic right now and risk getting bought by a Power Whip right off the bat. I mean, Power Whip doesn't have the world's greatest accuracy, but I, don't, I really don't want to risk it this early. Because we need Bill for a little bit longer. We need Bill for his Infernape. We need Bill to Toxic Stall his Snorlax. We need Bill for... The Slowbro, possibly, and the Ampharos. So we need Bill for too much right now just to just to let him die to a Power Whip. So I'm actually going to go out to JJ, which, honestly, that's, that's what I wanted to do from the get-go. And I was fearing an Ice Beam or a Thunderbolt. So I'm just going to go out to JJ, our, our Togekiss, and hope for the best here. Because if he goes for it, well, he's not going to go for an Earthquake. He's going to withdraw. Who are you going to go out to, buddy? Please go out to, please go out to, please go out to, huh? The Slowbro. That's not bad. It's not bad. I can't... See, I should have just gone for the Toxic. See, my first instinct! Ugh! I would have toxic that thing, and that would have been perfect. That would have been, that would have been so perfect. That would have been so perfect. So what I'm going to do now, he doesn't have a ground type either. He does have Ampharos, and he might predict the Thunder Wave. I think what I'm going to do, because he could be packing Ice Beam as well. He could be packing Psy Shock too. I think what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go for, I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave because even if he does predict and go out to his Ampharos, we can swap out to uh, Bill, Quagsire again, and we just went over everything that Ampharos could do to Quagsire. So I'm just going to go for the Thunder Wave and see what he does. He's going to stay in. So is he going to hit me with a Toxic? He's going to hit me with an Ice Beam? A Psy Shock, maybe? I hope he doesn't hit me with a Psy Shock. That would suck. That would suck. That would suck. That would suck. Ice Beam. Come on. Come on, JJ. Eat up, JJ. Eat up. I'm finger licking good. Finger licking good. <laughs> I love it. 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 I don't know. I guess Togekiss just got dropped down to UU because of usage, but still, I love it. I love Togekiss being this low. So my thing is, I don't think he's gonna swap out because his his thing's still at full health. So we could just flinch hacks the hell out of this slow bro right now <laughs> if we really wanted to, because between the paralysis and the sticky webs, flinched and could not move. So basically, he's not gonna he's not going for air slash. So he's not gonna go out to Infinite or Galvantula. He could go out to Ampharos, because I'm pretty sure he resists it. Uh, Gudra could take the hit as well, and Snowax could take the hit too. So what I kind of sort of want to do is... He's not going to... He's got no reason to go for an Ice Beam again, because he saw how much damage it did. He's got no reason to stay in either. I mean, he could stay in and try and go for a Psy Shock or something like that. My thing is... My thing is... Or he could try and Scald me and get the burn. My thing is, if he swaps out, who is he going to swap out to? 
I really, really wish I would have toxic this thing. I really wish I would have toxic this thing. I'm just gonna go for the save play of. It's too, it's too early to make double switch predictions like that. I'm just gonna go for the save play of Air Slash. He's gonna swap out. He did not swap out. Okay, 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 okay. Can we flinch him again? I feel like the hacks guy right now. He goes for Ice Beam. Is he really trying to get hacks on me? Stop this! Stop this! Stop this! Stop this right now! Okay, so he's sitting at a little over half. So that's kind of sort of like prodding him to go and swap out maybe 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 to get that regenerator back if not the next one definitely will so i'm trying to debate should i go for an air slash should i go for a roost right now because if he gets a crit ice beam we're gonna be in trouble i'm just gonna go for the air slash again because i got i really have no reason not to but if he doesn't swap out this turn i feel like he will next turn for sure come on man 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 Come on, man. Look at Togekiss's little feet. Look at Togekiss's little feet. Have you ever watched Togekiss when he uses Dazzling Gleam and does the little flip on its, on its upside down? Can we please flinch this thing? Can we please flinch it? Please flinch it. Please flinch it. Please flinch it. <laughs> okay, so I was only going to go for Roost this turn if, if he hit me with the Ice Beam. But still, I feel like it's way too obvious. He's got to swap out. He can't let his Slowbro die this early. He can't let his Slowbro die this early. But still, still, we get leftovers, and we can potentially flinch too. Yeah, he withdrew. Okay. So I, I'm predicting either Snorlax or Gudra. Snorlax, okay. So what we can do, what we can do, what we can do, what we can do. I honestly, Paralysis would be nice against this thing. Let's see how much damage this does. I know Snorlax is especially bulky. It's not touching him. It's not, I was, that was a crit, and it's not touching him. So what I really want to do, what I really want to do, is he's not going to go for, he's not going to go for an Earthquake. Because I think he might predict that I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave and try and flinch hex him again. So, what, what does Snorlax carry? Body Slam, Crunch, Earthquake, Curse, Rest, something like that. So, I think what I might do, if he carries Rest, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a huge problem, because then it doesn't matter how many times I Toxic Stall him, he can just rest and heal himself. I feel like this Snorlax is going to be the last thing on the field, but I think I'm going to go for this safe play of swapping out to Bill. Because Bill should be able to eat up anything he sends our way. Should be able to eat up anything he sends our way. And if he stays in, we can get the Toxic off. And anybody except for the... He's got Return. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Ugh. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay, so I think I should be able to live another one. And as long as he doesn't go out to the Slowbro... A anybody on this team can catch this Toxic. Anybody on this team can catch... There we go. There we go. That's what I really wanted right there. All the fat Pokemon on the field need to get toxic. And can we... I, I, excuse you? Excuse you? Okay, you need to stop this. You need to stop this right now. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Where's the ghost type when you need one? I don't like Snorlax. I really don't like Snorlax. Okay, so what I can try to do is I can try... We outspeed him, especially because of the sticky webs. So what I can try to do is... I'm gonna recover spam, that's really all I can do, because nobody else on the team is gonna take a hit as well as Quagsire has, so I can just recover spam and try and Toxic Stall him down. Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad, that's not bad, that's not bad. That's not bad, that's not bad, especially after after the leftovers, okay. So we're in a good spot, we're in a good spot, we're in a good spot, but really what I wanna see, does he have rest on this thing? Is he going to let it die, or does he have rest? I think... Because I outspeed him, it's safe for me to go for an Earthquake. He doesn't have any flying types on this team either, so even if he swaps out, I don't think he's going to swap out. I really don't think he's going to swap out. So we should be good, we should be good, we should be good, because unless he gets the mother of all crits right now... Oh, wait, 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 wait! I completely forgot! We're running unaware! His stat boosts don't mean anything to us! His power punches don't mean anything to us! Oh, I'm so absent-minded sometimes. I forget stuff like that. Like in yesterday's video at the very beginning, I said Azelf was going to get bought by an earthquake from that down fan. It has Levitate. That's why I put it on the screen. And even later on in the video, I said, oh, Azelf, I don't have to worry about. Both Levitate users are dead. I'm just so absent-minded sometimes. That's what I got to remember. So I'm just going to go for Recover now and Toxic stall this thing out. And honestly, if this, if this fat little greedy munchkin here, this Snorlax dies... I just need to get rid of the slow bro and then Victini can run house. I just need to get rid of the slow bro and then Victini can run house. So, what are you gonna do, you buddy? You gonna go for another return? Another return? I love Quagsire! He was like the perfect counter to this! I was unaware that he was the perfect counter to this! Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, let the toxic kill. Please let the toxic kill. 
There we go. Okay, so one big issue on his team is down and out. I'm very happy. I, th I said he was going to be the last one. I'm very happy he's gone. Okay. Whew. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Zappy Gun. Okay, so he's only going to send this thing out because he's carrying Energy Ball or Giga Drain. That's the only reason he's going to send it out because I'm pretty sure even with the Sticky Webs, he's going to outspeed me. I think. Um, so either he's carrying Energy Ball or Giga Drain. That's the only reason you send it out against an Earthquaker like this. Or he might be trying to push me out because he is gonna he's he's under the impression that I think he has energy ball, which I am, which is gonna force me out so he can go for sticky webs. But honestly, that's fine. He can do that. As long as he doesn't go for a bug buzz. Even if he goes for a bug you know what, you know what, even if he goes for a bug buzz, we should be fine. Because we're gonna go out to Needle King. We're gonna go out to Needle King. I would say go out to our own Galvantula to take whatever hit he sends our way, but I already saw what a thunder did, and I don't think he's gonna go for a thunder. So we can see now if he has energy ball or if he's goes for, gonna go for sticky webs. He does carry energy ball. Okay, Needle King, Needle King, I, need I want to get a shiny Needle King and nick 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 uh, nickname it Deliora. Let me know if you guys get that reference or not. But we're scarfed, and he has nobody that can fly on his team. <laughs> he's got no flyers on his team, so he might go out to Gudra again. If he does go out to Gudra. If he does go out to Guja, let's let's see if we can pull a double switch here. I might be getting a little too cocky. I might be getting a little too cocky. <laughs> I might be getting just a bit too cocky. It's okay though, because we do carry Wish on our Jirachi, so we can get health back to whoever we need it to. Um, but I feel like he's gonna try and pull that Guja switch again. I feel like he's gonna try and pull that Guja switch again, and if he does, I don't know. He might just go for an Energy Ball. As long as he doesn't go for a Thunder, which he really has no reason to right now. Because I have a ground type on the field. I don't know if I'm going to stay in. So he's got no reason to go for Thunder. As long as he didn't go for Bug Buzz, I should be able to safely switch Victini in and bop his Gujra. That's if he goes out to it. I hope and pray. I hope and pray this is right. Please let this be right. No, 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 no. Let me lose my Victini. Let me lose my Victini. Energy Ball. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, my thing now is. Is he sashed? If he's sashed, we're not going to appreciate a bug buzz. I could try and bait him right now, though. And go out to Togekiss and see if he's carrying bug buzz. Or he could just go all out for Thunder. Because if he's sashed, Thunder's going to hurt, too. I don't know if I really want to risk my... I don't know if I really want to risk my Victini on the Galvantula right now. That's the thing. Huh. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. I'm gonna go out to my own Galvantula. I feel like I'm swapping too much. But I'm gonna go out to my own Galvantula. I just really wanna see what he's gonna go for. Cause I'm well, I know our Galvantula is gonna outspeed. Go for your bug buzz. Go for bug buzz. He withdrew. Ooh, who's he gonna go out to? He went out to slow bro. Perfect! Perfect! Perfect switch! Perfect switch! Perfect switch! Perfect switch! Because now we can go for a Thunder and nothing! I mean nothing! Maybe the Ampharos! Maybe the Ampharos would be the only thing on his team that would uh, that would eat up a Thunder. But uh, nothing else on his team, he's definitely not going to leave it in. He's definitely not going to leave this in, so I'm just going to go for a Thunder. I, I, I'm, I'm all clear. The skies are clear for me to go for a Thunder. That's what I'm going to go for. If he leaves this thing in, it's dead. It's dead. It's definitely dead. Fo shao. Fo shao. Ooh, come on now, man. Come on now, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. He's thinking. He's thinking. Go out to your Ampharos, my buddy. Go out to go out to your Ampharos. I mean, Galvantula could, of course, take the hit. And if the Infernape is sashed, it could I don't think the, I don't think the Thunder would kill him anyways. It might. But yeah, he's definitely not going to leave that in. So he gets even more Regenerator back. So maybe the Slowbro is going to be lasting on his team. And who's this? The Ampharos. Okay. So not bad. Can I get a crit? Por favor. I don't ask for crits all that often. <laughs> Can I get a crit? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Compound Eyes Thunder misses. What is that? What is that? <sighs> okay, so I'm not going to stay in. What I am going to do, however, is... That's so aggravating. I'm going to go out to Jirachi, I think. I mean, I could honestly, I could honestly just mess this Slowbro up with Togekiss like I was if worse comes to worse. 
so I really don't need to worry about Arc Evangela that much, so I kind of sort of want to go out to Jirachi. I might just sack it off and just get damage, as much damage as I can, because like I said, he doesn't have a spinner, so I don't have to worry about um, him spinning the webs away at all. So I'm just going to go for a Bog Buzz, because <sighs> Thunder apparently doesn't want to hit. That would have been so nice, that would have been so perfect! Get that little bit of damage off on the Ampharos. Oh, it's so aggravating. Get that little bit of damage off on the Ampharos, and then hit it with a Bug Buzz, too, before Galvangela dies. Why did you have to miss? Come on! <sighs> Hidden Power. HP... HP Death is what he's running! <laughs> oh, I don't like that. The Thunder... <sighs> Why did the Thunder have to miss? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to Jirachi... Actually, 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 I could go out to Needle King right now. I could go out to Needle King right now. And nothing on his team except for the Slowbro. And maybe the Gudra is going to appreciate getting hit by an Earth Power. But I feel like he's going to eat an Earth Power up as well. Hmm. I'm gonna go out to Jirachi. I'm gonna go out to Jirachi. I'm just gonna go for the save play. I'm gonna go out to the save play and go out to Jirachi right now. And nothing on his team. Even the well, only thing on his team that would appreciate this. Ooh. 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 Okay, so predicting that he swaps out. Predicting that he swaps out. I'm gonna go for Stealth Rock right now. Please swap out. Please tell me that you're gonna swap out, buddy. You don't wanna catch You don't wanna catch a bunch of iron heads. You don't wanna catch a bunch of iron heads. You don't wanna go. He didn't swap out. Oh god. Oh god. Focus Blast? Focus Blast, Mega Ampharos. Huh. That's interesting. I mean, it's not interesting. It's 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 on standard movesets, but I don't know why you... I, I get I'm Steel-type, but I'm also part Psychic, so it's neutral damage and it's not Stab, so... Alright, I guess that was just as good as getting the, uh... Whatchamacallit? Can we flinch? Can we flinch? <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So what I think I might do... No, that's too obvious, it's too obvious. I'm just gonna go... I really don't want to sit here and keep iron-heading this thing. So, predicting that he's gonna go for... A Thunderbolt this time around. I'm gonna go out to Nido King. I'm gonna go out to Nido King. And hopefully he doesn't swap out. If he does, go out to Slowbro. Go out to Slowbro, go out to Slowbro. By the way, we have rocks and sticky web up right now. There you go. Swap out. He wasn't trying to catch another one. Did I predict right? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. The predictions. The predictions are real. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad. Not bad, mate. Not bad. Not bad at all. 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 Okay, so again, anything on his team. Honestly, honestly, I kind of sort of. He might not swap out. He might not swap out. He's probably going to go for an ice beam. So I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt. Because even if he goes out to Gudra. Yeah, he wasn't going to swap out. I was going to say, I can go for an Ice Beam and bop the Mega Ampharos or the Gujar, but I'm going to get that damage off. He's going to go for a Scald. Come on, Deliora. Come on, Deliora. No, he's not going to live it. <laughs> he's not going to live it. But, I mean, at this point at this point in time, Scarf, Needle King isn't a huge issue. I mean, it would have been nice for the Galvantula, don't get me wrong. It would have been really nice for the Galvantula. What I need to do right now is I need to get this Slowbro up out. That's what I really need to do. That's what I need to focus on doing. Because two of my special attackers are down. Oh, this is not good. 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 I can go for an air slash. If he swaps out, though, he's going to go to Gudra. I'm going to risk it and go for Dazzling Gleam. I'm going to risk it and go for Dazzling Gleam. I should have gone for the air slash. Ugh! Thank you! Thank you! He's gonna swap out! He's gonna swap out! He's gonna swap out! Okay, so what I can do, what I can do, what I can do, unless he's gonna... If he sacks this off, honestly, the Gujra's the last issue on his team, because all he has left is Infinite, Galvantula, and Ampharos then, and we can bop all of those with Victini. We can bop all those with Victini. So honestly, I feel like he's gonna swap out now. Question is, if he knows I'm going... This is perfect! 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 Because... Anybody he swaps out to cannot take it to Dazzling Gleam. Inframe's not going to appreciate it. Uh, Gujar's not going to appreciate it. Ampharos isn't going to appreciate it. The Slowbro's going to die. The only thing he has the chance to do is go out to Galvantula, which is going to take the Dazzling Gleam, and then next turn, I'm going to outspeed because of Sticky Waves and hit with an Air Slash. So, I'm going to go for the Dazzling Gleam. He's going to withdraw because he doesn't want to let that Regenerator Core go just yet. Who are you going to go out to? 
the Galvantula. I, I could have just predicted that right off the bat and just hit him with an Air Slash right away. But I wanted, I wanted to keep my bases covered, and if any, any sash she had is now gone. So now... <laughs> That's amazing! I love that, I love that, I love that, I love that, I love that. I didn't expect to do that much, but then again, the eventually is really, really frail, so... Honestly, what I could do, I'm just gonna go for Dazzling Gleam again, just in case he decides to swap out. Just in case he decides to swap out, now the Galvantula is gone, so now we're good to go. We're slowly but surely picking apart the team here. He still has that Regenerator Slowbro, which we can hack to death if we need to with Air Slash, and Dazzling Gleam puts in nothing but the finest of work as well. So, the Amphros and the Gudra and the Infernape aren't gonna appreciate the Dazzling Gleams. Actually, he might, he's, he'll probably take a Dazzling Gleam. What I kind of sort of want to do, what I kind of sort of want to do, I want to paralyze him just to be sure. Just to be sure. I don't know if I should do this right now. It's still too early. He still has four Pokemon left. I'm going to go for the safe play of the Thunder Wave and paralyze him up real quick. Paralyze him up real quick. Paralyze him up real quick. Get paralyzed. Iron Tail. Iron Tail. What's well, a physical Gudra? Oh! Ooh, that hurt, 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 that hurt. Okay, I kind of sort of need, I kind of sort of need JJ right now. So if he goes to, I'm going to swap out, I'm going to swap out, I'm going to swap out to Bill. I'm going to swap out to Bill right now. He might predict this and swap out on his own. But still, nobody on his team can really deal with Bill right now either. So hope he goes for an Iron Tail again. He's paralyzed. <laughs> Okay, so that's good, that's good, that's good. I kind of sort of want to pass a wish off to our Togekiss, because we need him for the last members of his team. We need him for the last couple members of his team. Um, I'm going to go for an Earthquake, because Infernape's not going to appreciate it, Amphros is going to appreciate it, Gooch is not going to appreciate it. Really, the only person that can eat up an Earthquake is Slowbro. So, you're going to go out to the Slowbro, buddy? Yep. Out to the Slowbro we go. Out to the Slowbro we go. And what I can do now is I can actually no I can't I'm not I don't I'm not I'm not clear to do that just yet unless we can get the mother of all crits right now it's not like I pray for them or anything we've already gotten plenty enough hacks in this battle oh it was a crit too <laughs> it was a crit it was a crit oh my god oh my god so he's pretty much he's pretty much stuck right now he's pretty much stuck right now because he's not gonna outspeed me because of sticky webs and because he's a slow bro he's not gonna outspeed me so I can earthquake safely. On anything on his team right now and this slow bro I feel like it might be done he's gonna sack it off okay 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 so really the Amphros I think because he's running a physical Gudra so we should be able to eat up and oh I forgot about power whip on the Gudra Ooh, maybe he's not carrying power whip because he swapped out he could have stayed in maybe he was fearing the earthquake ninja Kong this is the first time we're seeing him Huh, interesting switch. So even if he does get the mother of all crits, I mean, what 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 does a special attack in Infinite carry? Overheat's the only thing I know. I don't know off the top of my head. Um, but I'm gonna go for. I feel like I should go for an earthquake or should I scald? Earthquake does more. I'm gonna go for an earthquake. Oh, grass knot! No! Wow! Wow! Okay, so it is a special attack in Infernape. You live and learn. Okay, I won't forget that. I know Greninja carries that. Okay, 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 okay. So we really have no choice but to go out to JJ now. We really have no choice but to go out to JJ now, and we have to go for an Air Slash. If he's a special attack in Infernape, anything except for an Overheat, we should be able to take. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fire Blast! He still outspeeds me! No, 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 no! Come on, JJ! Come on, JJ! No! Oh! Okay, so this might be an issue. This might be an issue. It 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 might be an issue. Um, what I really need to do, what I really need to do is I need to get... I need to get this Infernape out. I need to get this Infernape out. All I'm left to right, down to right now is Jirachi and Victini. So I need to get this Infernape up out. I need to get this Infernape up out. I kind of want to go for a V-Create right now because... He's had two dragons on his team, though. I'm not in a good position. Losing that Togekiss was rough. That was rough. That was really, really rough. Uh, 
I'm gonna go for the V create. I'm gonna go for the V create. He withdrew. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. You're gonna go out to Gudra. Yeah, he's gonna go out to Gudra and try and get the drop. What I need right now is to do like half to this thing. I know he resists, but we're choice banded. I need to do like half. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, little buddy. Come on, little buddy. You can do it. You can do it. I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. You can do it. There we go. 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 My question is right now, I want to double check. I want to double check before I make this next move. I want to double check before I make this next move. How much... How much does V-Create lower your speed by? How much does V-Create lower your speed by? Oh my lord, it's a Pokemon move. I don't care about the rest of this stuff. How much does it lower your speed by? Uh, by one stage each. So that's a given. Uh, so he's not going to swap out of this. He's not going to swap out of this because he's already committed. But I think that... Because I know Gujra's base 80 and I'm base 100. Actually, no, I'm more than that. I'm going to go for the V-Crate again and just hope for the best. Yep, 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 yep. I don't know why I was worried about outspeeding. But after this, though, I need to swap out because uh, I can't risk the Infernape doing anything to me. Because the Infernape could hit me with, like, a U-turn or something. That would hurt. I know it just does neutral damage. It's not stab, but still, I'm not trying to take a U-turn. Not this late in the game. Actually, Infernape can bot both of the Pokemon on my team. I have to end up stacking off Jirachi just to get a clean switch in on Victini. Here comes the Ampharos. Uh, what's Mega Ampharos' base speed? We're lowered two stages right now. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. I think I'm going to go ahead and swap out because I think we should be able to safely take a hit from this thing. Oh, uh, he's going to go for a Thunderbolt. He's going to go for a Thunderbolt. Please go for a Dragon Pulse or an Outrage or something like that. Come on. Come on. Come on. There goes the Thunderbolt. This is going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Eat it out. Eat it out. Eat it out. Eat it out. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so we know Iron Head doesn't do that much. Uh this is aggravating. Only thing I really wish for right now is a flinch. I'm gonna go for an Iron Head. I need to get that powerful Serene Grace flinch. Yes! 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 I needed that right there! I needed that right there! I needed that right there! I needed that right there. Okay, 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 okay. So now we either need another flinch or we need, we need, we need. I want to check something real quick. 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 Oh, what am I using that for? I mean, I know Body Slam isn't super effective on anything, but doesn't Iron Head do half damage to electric types? Mmm. Only thing, if I go for another one, the only thing I can really wish for. I could go for a wish. Just hoping Bray doesn't get a crit or paralyze me. I'm gonna go for a body slam. I'm gonna go for a body slam. I'm gonna go for a body slam. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do enough, do enough, do just enough. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I feel like I should have been doing that from the start. Okay, so all he has left right now, I'm pretty sure is his Infernape and his Gudra. Or is the Gudra already down? Is the Gudra already down? Yeah, the Gujra's already down. Never mind, never mind. I didn't cross it off yet. Okay, so all he has left is his Infernape, which honestly, I could probably sack off our Jirachi. I could probably sack off our Jirachi and get a clean switch into Victini. Let's just hope and pray his Fire Blast missed. I need your Fire Blast to miss, buddy. We outspeed, of course. Or can we get a Paralyze? Can we get Paralysis? Ah, oh, he's not gonna miss. Well, that's it for Sleepy. That's it for Sleepy right there. So all we need right now is, is a crit too. Calm down. All we need right now is for Victini to come in and sweep up. He's life orbed. Ooh, I see you, big dog. I see you, big dog. Okay, 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 okay. So all we need right now, all we need right now is for Victini to come in and clean up, clean up, clean shop. I'm just gonna go for the V create. And with that, we're gonna pick up the W. A nice 1-0. That wasn't as it wasn't as uh dominating, you could say, as uh, yesterday's battle. Yesterday we were using a hyper-offensive team. This team today is kind of sort of weird. Like, it's not really balanced. It doesn't really have, like, a whole lot of walls. I mean, you have Quagsire and Togekiss, but, like, Togekiss isn't... Like, you can build it bulky, but it's not, like... I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't see it as... Uh, 
literal wall per se but either way good game to blake hgss 1994 i'll include a link to his twitter in the description below if you guys enjoyed today's xy wi-fi battle make sure you smash the yell out that like button down below down below for us and make sure you leave us your favorite uu pokemon in the comment section below as well but with that i want to thank you all once again for your support and thank you all so much for checking out the video you know me youtube 192 uh, i'm out